I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. Before we even begin with the major topics, it is kind of important for us to understand few terms. And this is a very common question normally you hear after the end of the first lecture on calculus. So students are still puzzled to understand what is delta x approaching zero, right? So delta x written like this, approaching with an arrow to zero. So that is a term which is commonly used in the whole book of calculus and uh, very difficult to understand to, for the beginners at least. Let's try to make an attempt to uh, understand this term. So I have broken down these words. We are looking for delta x approaching zero, right? So whenever we say delta, it is a change, right? We use delta as a change. Normally, the symbol used is delta like a triangle, right? We will also be using uh, this type of a symbol and uh, sometimes ddx, right? So these three symbols will be used for delta, which is a small change, right? Of x, that means x is a variable. So basically x is your variable, right? So it could be any variable. So when we say x, we say delta x. Do you understand this part? So, so you must have seen these signs in your calculus book. So delta x means change in that variable, whichever we're talking about. Now, uh, let's keep it a straight line for the time being, a single variable of order one. So, so basically it also, you could see it like this. Let us say we have a point here, A, right? And we have uh, uh, this position A changes to position B, for example, correct? Then in that case, delta X will be, will be this change from A to B, correct? So, so that change from a position A to B will, can be referred to as delta X, correct? So this is the first part, what is delta X? Now, normally when we talk about delta, we are always looking for something very small, right, also. So delta also signify uh, small, right? So let me write here, delta also signify small. Okay, but this has been qualified by the term which is attached to it, which is approaching zero, right? So, so we don't uh, have to really take it as a separate uh, thing. Now it says approaching zero. So approaching means this change is so small that it is approaching zero, right? So that is what it means, approaching zero. Let's try to understand. So the change is approaching zero means approaching is kind of a verb, right? It gives you continuity, right? It is like continuously decreasing, right? So, so it gives you uh, a continuity. So it kind of gradually, it is decreasing to zero. So you could visualize this as uh, this delta X is made smaller and smaller. So that means in the diagram that B is coming closer and closer to A so that ultimately the distance between these two is almost zero. So the distance between two is approximately equal to zero. You get this. So that is what it means. So this part here, approaching zero means that this, may, this change is so small that it is gradually approaching zero. So we could write this as gradually approaching zero so it is not zero remember it is a it is not zero right there is still a change so but not zero not zero but only approaching zero now that is a symbol it is approaching zero you get the idea right so it is very very close right so that is what it means now numerically we could say that, uh, well, this is zero, but we're not there still. So what we say that the value of delta X, 
So let me write down the value of delta x could be what? So value of delta x could be, let us say we begin with, uh, with 0 0.1, right? So we make it closer so that it becomes uh, 0 0.05 and then we bring it more closer, it becomes 0 0.01. And then more closer will be 0 0.001, kind of like this. Do you see, if I decrease the value delta x in this order, then we say that delta x is approaching 0, right? Now, we also use another term related to this. Now, this point, point 1, is on the right side, right, of this, uh, any point which we are considering, right? So, so that is from the right side. Sometimes we also use that symbol on the top and that really means approaching zero from right. So if I write this, so let me take this opportunity to also mention this. This is approaching zero. From right. Well, that means you could also approach from this side, right? So, so you could also approach from the other side. So that means if I say that the value of this is when we are saying a equals to 1. Let's say a is equals to 1. Okay. So I've taken this example where, where a is equal to 1, right? So, so delta x is the distance from a. Let's say this is, this is here we have origin 0 and a is at 1, correct? So let me redraw this. So what we have here is something like this we have this 0 0.1 we are approaching 1 from the right side that is what we are saying in this case but we could also approach 1 from the left side that is to say we could also calculate the values which are like 0. Point, uh, let's start from here 0 0.9 correct 0 0.99 0 0.999 something like this so in that case we are approaching 0 from the left side so this is approaching from left so the value 0.9 will be on the left side of 1 correct so that is approaching from left correct so that is the the base of approaching zero and now this is extremely useful since it gives you the idea of many many things for example major application which you see in calculus is about the the tangent definition so basically if we have a curve let's say so we have a curve like this right so so if we have a curve and we want to find tangent at a particular point let's say this point right so what we can do is that we can take another point let's say this is the point a for us right so x equals to a so what we can do is we can take another point which is b somewhere away x equals to b with the difference between the two being delta x do you see that so this difference is change in x value which is delta x now if i bring the point b closer and closer to a so at present when i join them i do get a line right so this is called the secant line now if i bring this point closer and closer to a do you see what happens from the right side delta x is decreasing right so so we say when delta x is approaching zero that means coming closer and closer what you get well you get something like this and then finally finally you get a tangent at the particular point of interest do you see that so, so you finally get this tangent right so you get a tangent when delta x is approaching zero now you could approach from left and right both the sides so we'll leave it as such here so this point let's say point q could have been taken closer and closer to p and gradually will 
calculate the slope of the tangent line as delta x approaches 0. Correct? So this is a huge part and it helps you to find the tangent of a line in calculus 1 right in the very beginning. And later on, we again use the same principle to find area under the curve, right? So we also use the same principle to find area of the curve, dividing each unit into, into set of rectangles, correct? So, so when you do that and find area under the curve, uh, by dividing them into set of rectangles and reduce the width, this width, which is delta x, to zero, you get a curve, right? You get a curve. And so you can also find area under the curve using the same principle, correct? The base, of course, is so wide, you know, of using this concept that we have defined the whole new subject for you, which is calculus, correct? You know from the very beginning that when you, whenever we are defining a circle, let me take another example to close this video, then in that case, circle is set of n sides, right? So, so these are your sides, correct? So if I make it with polygon of n sides, correct? Now, this size of side lengths of the polygon n, if they approach to 0, right? So here also if n approaches 0, the length, n, n is the length, n is the length, not the number, okay? So if the length approaches 0, in that case the polygon approaches circle, right? So in that case polygon approaches circle. Right, so we'll end it here, but I hope you got a clear idea of the significance of what is delta x approaching zero. But to begin with, you have to be very clear about this particular concept, right? So we just touched upon delta x. Now talking about these two deltas, we'll take up some time later when we are talking about uh, derivatives. Perfect, but I hope you get the concept. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.